But science is not a set of beliefs. I mean, there's only one belief in science that has to. You have to retreat to commitment at a certain point. You have to say, we do believe that if A implies B and B implies C, then A implies C. And we do believe that if P is a proposition which is true, then not P is a proposition that is false. That's all we have to believe in in science. The rest of it is tentative, awaiting further study. And almost every single thing that is considered to be a fact in the 20th century, in another 200,000 years, will look very silly. You know, if you just think, picture yourself being a real bright Egyptian mathematician and thinking that you really understand math, and then see what you'd look like from the point of view of somebody in the year 2000. Did you really understand math? Nope. Was any of it right? Nope. It was all wrong in just a little way here, a little bit there, a little, there were things wrong with it. I wouldn't be surprised if 200,000 years ago from now, Aristotelian logic turned out to not be, you know, it's already starting to look kind of funny because of, of quantum mechanics. Sometimes things are true and not true at the same time. Some things, sometimes effect precedes cause. Time isn't quite what we think it is either. Nothing is certain in science. There are no, there's no room for beliefs.